Hello everybody, this is Petey from Bergsdick Arcade at BergsdickArcade.net and here we are once again with the item system. So we started off, we have our new script going ahead creating the new databases for us. So now let's start integrating the actual code to display stuff. So we'll come in and I guess I'll start here. Well actually, so this is the thing, I, I know I'm going to want to break this up into partials as well. Uh, what do we have so far? That's a scriptable object, this is the one we're working on. So all the stuff that comes from a scriptable object uh, all this editor stuff. I'm going to go ahead and stick it in a different partial just so that it has a, its own file. It's a little bit cleaner just to, to look at and figure out exactly what it is you're doing with it. And to keep the scripts a little bit shorter. I like the separation. So we're going to go ahead and do that first. So I guess I'll call it, uh, blah, 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 blah. I don't know. Let's just go in and to the editor folder. We're inside a test. We'll go ahead. We'll create our new file. Well, we'll start off with IS object. Database methods. And I usually don't actually have them pluraled for a class, but since it's only temporary, we'll go ahead, we'll keep it. So we're going to need the exact same start that we have up here. And we'll probably need that editor. Well, I know we're going to need the editor. So let's go ahead and post that in. What do we got to do? Hit enter. There we go. Using Unity Editor. And we'll come in here. See if there's anything that we want to do right off the bat. Now this loads the database, but it doesn't actually do anything. Oh, it does actually touch the database. So I'm gonna go ahead and move these to the database script. So I'll just cut them out. We'll come back into here. I'll paste them in. There we go. And I'm gonna go ahead and leave the variables here for now. And we'll know, I know a few others I'm gonna want here. We're gonna want the on enable. We're also gonna want public on GUI. And of course, don't forget that return type. And we'll do a little. And let's go ahead, we'll jump into the scriptable object database and let's start grabbing all the stuff that requires uh, this here. So as I grab it, I'm gonna comment it out. Uh, we'll just two though. Now this is where I wish Xarma Studios had that collapsibility. So we got add, we have insert, we have remove, we have two different types of remove. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that and comment it out. We'll come into here. And I'll put it right up top. And we don't need the editor part. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. And we'll fix those. But let's go ahead and get everything copy pasted in. Uh, where are we? Right here. So we'll jump back in. Here's some more editor stuff. Uh, replace. And get. So this is it. So I'm going to copy. And since we already have get, we just broke it up into two and renamed it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and comment it all out. That leaves us with get and count as the only methods in here. Now, the reason why I'm leaving them in there is just in case something bad goes wrong and I need to come back to it. I hate to delete it and lose it permanently. All right, so I'm gonna come down here. Again, I'm still gonna leave some room down here. We'll get rid of the editor part. Uh, we have to go through each method because database is no longer referring to what we think it is. I don't think, I think we, yeah, maybe we should change this. Well, actually, we probably should change it in here to like items or something. We don't really want the database dot database is what I'm getting at. So I'm actually going to switch this to items or item. I'll go ahead and save that off. We'll come in here. And I don't actually think we're doing anything with it. We weren't actually touching the items yet. And to be honest, I think I want the capital. All right. So we'll come back. We'll jump in here. And let's just start the first one. So we're going to go in. We're going to grab the database. Now we're gonna to wanna to gain access to this. And we have it set as protected. As we said before, protected, really the only way to access it is either within this script itself or uh, from a script that inherits from it. Uh, we're not doing either one. So we're probably gonna to have to just open it up and be public, which you know honestly isn't that bad. But then if we have public, we don't really need these methods. I just like them. And if we're gonna go this new route, I'm just gonna leave these methods here, uh, but I am gonna go ahead and make this public at least for now. So we'll save it, but I just don't like having it public. So I'm actually gonna keep it protected still. I'll save it and I'll just make a method for it. So it will be public. It's gonna return a list T and I'm just gonna call it item with a capital. And we'll just do the standard get and I, I'm not gonna do a set, we'll just do a get. There we go. So we can still get that list to pull things out of, but we can't save directly to it as far as the whole list. So we'll jump back in here and let's start working on the database. 
So database is dot, and now we have count equals get and item. And what I want to know, will this work? Dot add, yes, it will work. So we can still save items to it, and I'm gonna do the exact same thing for the rest down here. And provide it's not too late at night and I'm missing something, this should just work. So this one's a little bit different and it's the last one. What we're gonna do is replace the index of it. So we have to do database dot item and we'll save that off and let's go see how many errors we created. And let's take a look here. Uh, it's not contain a definition for get database. Okay, I guess we're gonna have to uncomment everything that we commented here for the other scripts that uh, rely on it. So we'll go ahead and fix this up. So that means uh, we're gonna have to take a look at that script too as well. Uh, because I had them commented out when I did it. That's fine. A little bit of copy paste to Reno and we'll be good to go. Not sure what the problem is. Uh, item, well, let's just go through, we'll take a look here. Those switched over fine. We'll go ahead and we'll comment all of this as well. And uh, something with my scope. Uh, nope. Let's move all of the non Unity stuff together, or sorry, the non Unity editor stuff together. These lines. There we go. Hmm. Let me just go ahead and save this and reload it. Sometimes that's all that's needed. And boy, it must be late. The problem is, is that I'm using item uh, for the, the parameter being passed in as well as up here. And I'm just gonna, actually gonna go ahead and just change this. I'm just gonna call it I. And of course we'll have to fix this as well. That helps if you actually change the right one. Oh boy, maybe I shouldn't stay up late tonight. <laughs> It's already three in the morning, full screen. You don't need to see what time I do these videos. <laughs> all right, we'll get that done. We'll get that done. And was that all of them? I see no pink. So we'll jump into Unity, see what happens to all the errors. We got a few still left here. Uh, let me see, remove. Save that off. We'll come in and finish that one off. A few more might pop up as we go along. Uh, if they do, well, here's one here. And uh, that's because we've got our partial. Okay, maybe tonight we'll just do the one video. <laughs> but be warned that in future editions, I would like to go back to the old way of just sitting down and recording for an hour or two and then just cutting them up into bite-sized videos. I just find I can get more done that way. Okay, so. Ah, uh, I just made something a partial class. I guess object, yeah. And I'm not sure why I made this one a partial. I'm not even sure why it's loaded. This is the one that needed the partial. We'll save it off, come in here. All right, let's check it out now. Oh boy. Uh, oh, we have editor. All right, so we're no longer setting this script to be dirty. What we have to set to be dirty is our database right here. And our old script, this was the database, but we don't need that anymore. So we'll go ahead, put that in. And I'm just gonna go down and do them one at a time. And sure, that's not all of them, is it? Oh, apparently it was. And we wait a second and oh, we finally did it. We did it, Reddit. All right, let's go ahead. We'll jump in, start it up and see how many errors we get here. Uh, none so far. I'm actually going to go ahead and take a look here. It looks like we're not actually loading anything up here either. So I'm going to close it and let's go ahead and get rid of all the databases. I managed to break that script, which is fine because I am going to be moving over to the new one anyway. But let's figure out what we did wrong. So we start it back up and it is creating the databases. 
but it doesn't have the ability to access the uh, what it needs out of it. Okay. Let's see if we can create one. We'll go ahead and create a weapon. Uh, crash is right there. I can't close it down, so we're gonna have to go ahead, jump in, and I know the problem is here, since this is the only thing we've changed. Well, we know this part is working, it's grabbing it. Uh, I think it's the gets. Okay, well, we'll come in to the IS object editor. This is the main one that controls the editor window. And for now, I'm gonna go ahead and just comment out the, the new databases we're working on. Which means we'll also have to comment out here. And we're just gonna come down. And everything looks okay here. We're probably gonna to have to go ahead and load this up. And let's keep them all together. And we'll just figure out where it went wrong. So let's follow the flow. We go ahead, and I'm just gonna start off the weapon one for now. And to, be, to make sure that we're only looking at the weapon stuff, let's actually go ahead and comment out the rest. That means armor. And we shouldn't need the other ones for the armor, great. So we come in, uh, we're gonna create the database, or reference to one. We got our constant set up. Uh, it creates our menu entry for our window. On enable, we go ahead and we call the get database, which is just going to load the database up for us. Set the tab state to about. By default, I'm going to go with weapon again, just so I don't have to click that tab. Uh, we're going to come down. We're going to display the GUI. We're going to display the list view, and we're going to display the item view. So I'm going to save that off. Let's jump into Unity. And I'm probably going to have to restart Unity as I can't close it down. Uh, but I want to come into the databases and let's just get rid of all of these. And I'm just going to quickly close down Unity and uh, we'll start it back up. All right, so opening up another project first, then coming back and opening this worked. Uh, it did create the database for us. I don't want that, so I'm going to go ahead and delete it. I hate when it jumps like that. I'm actually going to go into the code. And I'm going to go ahead and comment out the list view and the items. And I just want to make sure it's creating the database properly. So it does. And we're on the weapon tab. It's not doing anything. Make sure it has the right script attached. Okay, as far as I'm concerned, it's creating the database properly. Let's go ahead and we'll try to add something to it. So we'll start off just by listing. Start it back up. There we go. And it looks like we're actually are going to need the other one, other panel too, because that's where we have our create button. Start it back up. I'm going to go ahead and hit create. And this is where we start getting the errors. And it would actually might, it looks like it's actually on the quality database. Uh, let's go ahead. We'll add some items in here. Uh, we just need one really. I guess we shouldn't have deleted this one. <laughs> uh, we'll fill it completely out. We'll go ahead and we'll leave this one in here and not delete it. There we go. So I think that's actually what my problem was is that I didn't have a quality in there. And if that is the case, I'm going to make a note of it quickly and I'll add that as an issue to the Git server. So I'm going to say a sword value. Uh, I'll just put ones. Uh, apparently we can't get a quality now. We'll have to look at that. If it's zero, I'm gonna move it to one. If it's a one, I'll move it to 10. And we only have one, we'll go ahead, we'll save. Uh, showing up there, so it looks like everything was fine. It's just that we didn't have any qualities. I'll go ahead and click it. Yeah, there we go, now it shows up. I'm not 100% sure how I really wanna handle that. What I'm thinking of doing is having a method inside of the database for quality, I guess, um, the script. Come to databases, quality database, and um, see so it inherits from scriptable objects, what we're doing with the other one. Uh, we're getting, we have a get index. So here's here's an example of where I said I wanted to 
put uh, maybe some methods in some of them that weren't in others. I'll probably add another one here where we could have a, a check to see if uh, the database is empty or even exists. And if it doesn't exist, to go ahead and create itself and maybe populate it with at least one, one value, maybe common. Uh, I'm going to add that in here as a comment as well. And I'll actually use these types. All right, so there we go. Just a reiteration. Check to see if the database exists. If it does exist, go. If it doesn't exist, then go ahead and create it and add at least one entry. So if you like the video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. It really does help me out here on YouTube. And go ahead and follow me on Twitter. I can be a pretty chatty guy over there when I'm not walking through a forest or being stalked by eagles and falcons, lions, tigers, and bears. <laughs>